Drive, 10 at 10, continues with no wait weather. And that will be me. <laughs> it's been a busy night of weather, a hot, humid day, fueling some pretty strong storms across the valley. All over the place. Yeah, as we go through the overnight, they're going to continue to progress eastward. Everyone in our eastern counties does have a risk of storms tonight. Let's go over what the latest is on the radar. Right now, you can see all of the active lightning and things really just getting started along the South Dakota border here. Right here, this active lightning that's firing up here. These storms are actually reaching upwards of 60,000 feet in the atmosphere, even after sunset. A whole line of storms up here has become less severe as the evening has waned on. More of a wind threat up there, but let's go through the very latest. First and foremost, Grand Forks County, Nelson County, and Griggs and Steel County in the northernmost sliver here for this cell right here moving off to the east at around 25 to 30 miles per hour could contain some sizable hail. As we take you in a little closer, it's passing through Mackville and heading towards Northwood right now. Uh, the hail is in the Mackville area and is moving off in this general direction and it's still uh, has signs of upwards of one inch in diameter as far as the hail threat goes. Grand Forks, this green line here, that's a gust front that's blown through. You'll have northwesterly winds quite gusty now and in isolated spots, not everywhere. We could see gusts over 55 miles per hour, but the torrential rain is heading your way. Not much of a hail threat with this cell or this line of cells here that reaches all the way through Pennington County and Northern Polk. Marshall County getting inundated with torrential rain right now, but the hail chances pretty small. Uh, under about three quarters of or a half of an inch in diameter. Your winds will come from the northwest. That reaches all the way up into Roseau County. Hey, this line that just fired up here along the South Dakota border, an active tornado warning. So we still have that spin in the atmosphere. And this air in southeast North Dakota is yet untouched for the day. Still a lot of energy in these storms. For our viewers in Lamore County, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning for this line of cells here. Could be producing one inch diameter hail and gusts to around 58 to 60. 60 miles per hour. We're going to have to keep our eyes on the skies as we go through the evening hours. Here's the area of rotation moving right along the South Dakota border. That would be approaching Dickey County on the outside of a, about an hour's time. So we'll keep our eyes on that. All of this is pushing off to the east minus this stuff in northwest Minnesota. It's moving more in an east southeasterly direction at this time. Hector International, 83 sticky degrees right now. Feels like 88 thanks to a dew point of 72. Tons of moisture in the atmosphere. Still south winds ahead of the cold front that's going to feed the fuel to these storms when and if they form. Not everyone will see them. Where storms have moved through, we have more refreshing 60s and more of that on tap in your forecast. 79 right now in Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls as folks are enjoying Wee Fest. There is a tornado watch that does continue until 11 o'clock, a thunderstorm watch in our South Dakota counties. Let's get to what's going on with your forecast, shall we? Here's the line segment up to the north. Wind is going to be the primary risk from this as we travel through the late night hours. This down here will have a little bit more energy and it's going to take a little longer than we thought earlier in the evening to get through the Southern Valley. Still midnight and it's not into Lakes Country yet. As storms approach Bemidji, we hope they're not going to cause the damage like the last ones, but wind will be a risk tonight. As we go past about the 3 o'clock hour, things are out of here, and it does look like our wind will be west-northwesterly and a little gusty for our day. Temperatures, look at this, 70s, refreshing, spotty showers or thunder showers on our Thursday afternoon. Highs only near 80 south, and we're talking low 70s up north for a big time change over the sticky air we've had in place. 65 on your way to work near 80 in the afternoon. Hit and miss clouds and can't rule out a sprinkle, especially in our northern counties for your Thursday afternoon. Otherwise, the best chance at near 80 will be to the south. Watch out for northwest winds gusting to around 30 miles per hour tomorrow. Northern Lights, there you go. Near Inkster, Elijah captured a beautiful shot and uploaded on valleynewslive.com. Go ahead, log in and check out some of the storm damage from tonight's storms. Cooler through Friday. The weekend looks delightful with quiet weather minus an isolated storm. It does not look like widespread severe. And it does look like next week we'll have the heat and humidity returning, as will the storm chances. There's a look at the radar. It looks like the uh, a new warning was issued for our friends in, that would be Griggs and Steele County there. Uh, so uh, from Mackville and Point South, uh, Cooperstown and Points East. 
Storms heading your way. We're not out of the woods yet, so no. keep it right here. Yeah, we'll be uh, working late tonight, but we've got the caffeine and the coffee going. There you go. I Thanks. went looking for your suit coat, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> I couldn't either. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay, if you have a sports or health-related goals, you might want to take the advice of a local doctor and train like you're an Olympic athlete. We'll explain later on Valley News Live 10 at 10. And a new business is opening in South Fargo. What it is?